And what we need to do is we make sure we bring competition into the system. And you can do it in various ways, by being able to buy across state lines uh, and, and freeing up the mandates that we currently have. So I understand our healthcare system as a doctor, but also as a patient. And I got into this race because I want to make sure that every family in this district in this country can afford the care that they need. Health care, one of the many issues debated tonight in Ellensburg between Democrat Kim Schreier and Republican Dina Rossi in the 8th Congressional District race. So you watched that debate live on King 5. Political reporter Natalie Brand was a co-moderator of that debate. She has more from Central Washington University. This was the very first and likely the only debate between these two candidates, Republican Dino Rossi and Democratic Dr. Kim Schreier. It was a packed house here at McConnell Hall at Central Washington University. People from all over the 8th District came to watch these candidates spar on stage tonight. And one of the issues that I wanted to ask the candidates about, all of the attack ads we're seeing on the airwaves. Ultimately, those attacks that are leveled at me, which have all been debunked, are coming from CLF, the Congressional Leadership Fund, which is Paul Ryan's super PAC. And that is heavily funded by fo the fossil fuel industry, by big pharma, by insurance companies. And of course, they will say or do anything about uh, my record in order to keep this seat for the Republicans. They know that I will take them on. I will take on big pharma and insurance to make sure people get the care they need. And that is why we need money out of politics. What we've done is, in my campaign is we're going to compare and contrast what my opponent wants to do with what we want to do. And, uh, but, but it's been interesting. My, my opponent's number one supporter is Nancy Pelosi, who's probably spent more money against me than any other human being in America at this point in time. And uh, over $4 million with these negative ads, false ads. They're false ads. They're things that have been debunked over the years. The same ones keep coming back again and again. So then we really wanted to press the candidates on the issues, particularly the issues important to voters in the 8th District, from health care to the economy to trade to immigration and what they would do about DACA, the program for the hundreds of thousands of young undocumented immigrants known as DREAMers. Uh, I've been very clear as well that uh, six, we're talking about 690,000 uh, people who would be t taken and shipped back to a country that they no don't even know. That's not even logical. We shouldn't do that. Uh, but we also, we need to make sure we have border security first or we we're going to end up uh, with, uh, with, with the same, in the same boat again two or three years from now. Well, first of all, I wholeheartedly support the DREAMers 2017 DREAM Act. I believe we should have a clean DACA bill not tied to anything else and certainly not held hostage in budget negotiations. 87% uh, of the population in this country understands that DREAMers, these DACA young adults and kids, deserve permanent legal status. So that was just a quick snapshot of this pretty comprehensive debate. If you missed it live, you can watch it on our website. We've posted it there at king5.com. A reminder that election day is just about 19 days away, but voting starts very soon. Ballots should be in your mailbox in the next few days.